Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, so, well, by the time you watch this video, or by the time this video is uploaded, it will be on the 26th, so it won't be for Christmas, but you know what we're doing today. We are, oh my gosh, my housework still has some wrapping paper on, oh my goodness. But anyway, Christmas haul. So, uh, don't expect anything spectacular in this video because I didn't get that much, but I think what I did is much better than what you're going to see in this haul because all the stuff I have right beside me pales in comparison to the reaction Greg got when he opened up that present that I got him. Thanks to Paper City, I was able to afford it, so if any of my co-workers and my boss are watching, thank you guys for giving me this job because without it, I wouldn't have been able to make my friends super happy. And that was a gift that's going to last, I guess going to last me a lifetime. But anyway, enough of me being cliche. Let's start with a gift. So, start the papers. So I got two each shot cards. This one I got from Lauren. Thank you, by the way. With that, I was able to get a hat in time. And my cousin got me this. It was wrapped in a lot of wrapping paper. Like, I was unwrapping and wrapping and... Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was quite something else. And I got this sticker from Greg when he got something from Fan Gamer. Christmas card my older siblings got me. And this isn't really a gift, it was rather something that someone was giving out, but if you recall from my vlog, the girl sitting next to me, the younger one, not Rhonda, but the girl with her, she's an artist, and she made this. So I think that's really cool. It's nice to see talent here in Chillicothe, and speaking of talent, my friend Lauren drew this. Probably saw in the most emotional unboxing video. I am very impressed. I mean, Tails' eye is a bit slanted, but whatever. I don't care. Another Christmas card that I'm getting. That was... Sorry about that, my camera died, or battery died. Okay, here we just saw this Christmas card from Allison. And next we have the Schlegel's coffee sticker from Greg, as well as another advert. Van Gamer. Number four short poster. Christmas card I got from my boss. It's really nice of her. Now of course you all saw the Bench Kazooie the gaming poster from the unboxing vlog video. I hope. Because if you haven't, go watch it. Anyway. Next, I'll show off something I got at the Christmas party. It's nothing special, it's just this nice uh, purple blanket that I'll keep in my lap throughout the video. So how about I show off a random item? Yes, I still have all the hockey intact, specifically for the video, then now I shall devour them. Next. We have this running Mario figure. I know I didn't sound all that ecstatic about this figure because I already have it, but I will end up placing that figure because the stand for my running Mario ended up breaking at my old place. So, now Mario will be able to actually be in the running pose on my shelf over there. Next up is this microphone standee. I need to find the rock band microphone and test to see if that works because if it does, merch videos 2020. Stay tuned. I really do look forward to going back to merch videos. Next, I got the Skillet CD Victorious. I will be getting the graphic novel. I will put up a photo here so that you guys can see it, but it's in transit according to the note I got from my mom. So. I will be getting that soon. It may come tomorrow for all I know, but next up, I'll show you this. It's not a pro controller, but it is the cheapest pro, con pro controller you can get. 
It doesn't, I don't think it has motion control, but it plays very nicely. It does require, I think, double A's? I think? I can't remember. It does require batteries though, and it does compact with them. So, so it has the Mario Bros. 3 pixel art on there, which I think is really cool. It was either this or Zelda from Breath of the Wild, but this one to me looked a lot better, so glad I got that. Next up, let's show a video game. Start the first one I got. Nintendo Labo. This thing is heavy. It comes packed with a lot of cardboard you can use to uh, decorate your Switch. You can do a lot of interesting things with it. Not sure when I'll get to play this, or if I will, but whether I play it or not, it does make for a nice little novelty. So, thanks again, Morton, for that. Next game that I finished, or rather completed, story mode on is Super Mario Maker 2. I will be making levels for the likes of Link's 4 and Ryu, Ryu Car. If you don't know who Ryu Car is or Link's 4, please check them out. You're welcome. Next game, and well, last game, is Spyro Bay Night Trilogy. This one was on sale during our Black Friday, and I asked Mom to get this for me and Benjamin. So, got that game to play as well. I did want to get the Luigi's Mansion 3, but can't get them all. And the last bit will be plushies. Now, plushies, I know, will rain up a lot of bells like, Hooray, we get into the exciting stuff! Not really. It's, uh, you know, Sine Purple Yoshi. Yeah, everyone's seen it. But if you haven't, where have you been? Because these things are everywhere. But, of course, you've seen them in the vlog that I made for Christmas shopping, so these things are not new to you. <laughs> but if you're just now tuning in, then these are new to you. Next up, we've got Spyro which is kind of like sticking to the theme we have, kind of, purple Spyro game. <laughs> kind of interesting. I'm sure that Pattern Adder will be very proud that this is my second Spyro plush. I did have a giant toy network or Kelly toy Spyro, but I ended up selling that for money. I kind of regret it because it was my first Spyro plush, but whatever. Next, I know we have plush is Toad. This is now my only Toad plush because I'm selling all my other Toad plushes from the new Super Mario Bros. Wii set. But yeah, it's nice to have this Toad. And last, but not least, Toon Link from Sine, or Little Buddy actually. It's a nicer plush than the Phantom Hourglass one. They can shield so much better. Sword has a thicker material. It's a little bent, but <laughs> what can you do? These were stocked. You know, just thrown in there because like all our plushies all live. They don't realize that we collectors like to preserve and take care of them. They are our children. That is all, folks. I know it wasn't much, but. It's it's better than nothing, I guess. I was wanting this Conquer plush that I ended up seeing. I was thinking of getting it myself, but I hesitated and I kind of regret it. However, if I bought that Conquer plush, I probably would not have gotten that Gex plush. So I'm not saying this to burst or inflate my ego in any sense of what word. And I know it's dumb on words, so that means she is talking about her ego. And wants to be... I don't know. What is even the point of that? Like, why would anybody ever want to do such a thing? And this blanket is making me hot. But anyway, I'm saying this to tell you that I guess in order to do something good, we at times have to sacrifice something that we want. If that makes sense. 
And I guess I did just that. I guess God was trying to tell me, like, hey, don't buy this because, you know, I've got something better. And well, I will discuss further in that topic in a different video, like for a New Year's video. And please pray for me on New Year's Eve because I will be working uh, late, very early, and I don't like mornings. Like, I really don't. I'm a zombie in the morning. Nobody will like me. Like, I'm dead in the morning. But anyway, I... Well, that's it. That's all there is. No, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give a thumbs up, comment, share with friends, and subscribe for some upcoming videos. I'll be doing some merch videos, hopefully soon. Definitely 2020. I'm not sure when in 2020. But for sure, one of my planned first videos in 2020 is my video game plush collection. I really want to do that to showcase what I've gotten over the past year because for all the unboxings I did this year, I've gotten quite a bit. And like my collection has grown quite a lot. And well, I look forward to showing that off. It will be a long video and I'm already making this video very long by talking and rambling over nonsense. So thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for the same nonsense. Here is Shirley, Kim and Julie Hedgehog. God bless. See ya next year. Out with the aim.